single player games can sometimes get lonely if you don't have the right companion. Sure, the graphics might be great, the story can be engaging, but sometimes all you need is that person, animal, or being next to you to help you get through all those hurdles the game throws at you. The best game companions will be with you through thick and thin. They can help breathe new life into an adventure, give context to the story and its events as they unfold, maybe even add a bit of humor. The best video game companions can do all that and so much more. Today's video is dedicated to them. Welcome to Hotfix Gaming, I'm Joy, and here are the top 10 best video game companions. Number 10. Elika from Prince of Persia Every prince needs a princess, so Elika's addition to the Prince of Persia storyline shouldn't come as a surprise. Elika was designed not just to be pretty, but also to appeal to female gamers. Her role is quite valuable as she accompanies the prince throughout the entire game and aids in combat. As producer Ben Matz explained, there's this fine line where she has to be strong yet sexy, autonomous, but have a certain amount of dependency on the prince so that the players still feel like a hero. It was also really important to us that she not be treated like a sex symbol or a romantic interest. She has her own ideals and her own goals. Do you think the developers of the game have managed to strike that perfect balance? Number 9. Daxter from Jack and Daxter Daxter is the companion of the much more heroic Jack, which works out well because Daxter tends to run from a fight. However, when telling stories of his adventures, he's definitely not afraid to exaggerate his role. Can you imagine what this series would look like without him? It's hard to picture it, isn't it? This funny and cocky character was born as a human, raised in Sandover Village, and grew up alongside his best friend Jack. But one day, after falling into a vat of a mysterious substance called Dark Eco, he was transformed into a weasel-like creature called an Otzel. Despite being quite timid in the heat of battle, Daxter can be quite a useful companion, as he can be somewhat of a secret weapon. And he's Jack's best friend! What better company could Jack ask for when going on an adventure? Number 8. Trip, Tripitaka from Enslaved, Odyssey to the West Enslaved is a reimagining of Chinese classic Journey to the West. So, Trip is based on Xuanzang, the monk who travels with his disciples in order to seek enlightenment. The game follows the story of two unlikely partners, Trip and Monkey, as they go on a journey to try and destroy the evil being that's called the Pyramid. Monkey has a handband placed on his head that Trip has complete control over, giving her complete control over Monkey. The headband also connects the two so that if Trip dies, Monkey will die with her. This type of swap role is not something that you would usually see, as most games would have the huge muscle man be in power and his female companion be the one to listen to his directions and even orders. This whole new dynamic makes for an interesting adventure. Number 7. Dog Meat from Fallout series if proof were needed that dogs will be man's post-apocalyptic best friend, Fallout is the hypothetical evidence. So faithful a companion as Dogmeat, you can find him in all the Fallout games. Every iteration of the main character in the series is kept company by a loyal dog. Lovingly nicknamed Dogmeat by the game's developers, the companion is an NPC that can be commanded to fetch an item for the main character or scout a location in the game. Dogmeat has captured the hearts of many gamers by being a loyal sidekick throughout the franchise. Even if the player commands Dogmeat to attack anything, fetch an item, and even get dressed in crazy costumes, Dogmeat will still be happy to serve his master. Number 6. Quiet from Metal Gear Solid 5: The Phantom Pain Quiet, believe it or not, was actually an antagonist at first. Snake encounters her for the first time in Mission 11, and after defeating her, he has the option to either kill or let her live. By making the decision to keep her alive, Snake can then take her back to Mother Base, where she can be deployed for missions and even accompany Snake in his own missions. However, Quiet's character had been extremely criticized upon the release of Metal Gear Solid 5, and that was mostly due to concerns of her character being objectified. Konami was quick to respond to criticism and give a reason behind the skimpiness of her outfits. After being exposed to a parasitic treatment, Quiet is only able to drink and breathe through her skin, so she has to wear less clothing. Sure, it's one of Konami's more absurd characters, but at least they tried to explain her outfits rather than be outright perverted. Number 5. Cortana from Halo series Cortana comes in to solve the problem of the silent video game protagonist in Halo. 
Master Chief isn't just silent, he's also spending the bulk of his missions exploring and shooting alone. And that's where the genius of Halo's Cortana comes in. She might be an AI, but Jen Taylor's excellent voice performance has seen her swiftly grow just as iconic as Master Chief, to the extent that she's played a crucial role in the overall Halo story arc. Cortana herself is based on Dr. Catherine Elizabeth Halsey within Halo lore, being the person responsible for the Spartan II Super Soldier project that eventually went on to spawn the Master Chief. She serves as your trusty video game companion and intelligent guide to the universe, always speaking in your ear to keep you as the Chief informed, even when her systems are slowly degrading as presented in Halo 4. Whether you need a computer terminal hacked or a transmission decoded, no other video game companion does it better than Cortana. Number 4. Clank from Ratchet & Clank While you might not directly play as the eponymous robot throughout much of the Ratchet & Clank series, the latter half of PlayStation's iconic duo has proved that he packs a lot of punch. Not only is he the brains of the operation, but Clank is also what enables Ratchet to traverse planets with ease. What makes Clank one of the best video game protagonists is his ability to prove time and again that size doesn't matter, except in those few situations where it does and you get to control him in giant form. Clank became such a beloved character that fans even received a spin-off game on the PSP in 2008 called Secret Agent Clank. Number 3. Alex Vance from Half-Life 2 Alex is considered to be one of the many groundbreaking elements that made Half-Life 2 such a landmark achievement. Valve went to great lengths to create a companion that wouldn't agitate the player with repetitive dialogue and was authentically emotive in ways we hadn't seen before. More importantly though, Alex was a genuinely useful presence in combat and didn't get in the way or need micromanaging like so many AI-driven characters did at the time. With those barriers out of the way, she became one of the first NPCs in a game it was possible to actually care for. Even today, you see remnants of her influence in games like The Last of Us and God of War. Number 2. Elizabeth from Bioshock Infinite Bioshock games weren't known for their companions, as the first two were more about the engrossing story and the supernatural abilities coming with it. However, that all changed with the third game in the series, Bioshock Infinite. As Booker DeWitt, you're launched into a dystopian cloud city of Columbia to rescue an enigmatic girl named Elizabeth from imprisonment. Elizabeth proves to be an incredible companion, stuck working with Booker, who she knows little about, but still doesn't hesitate to pick a lock from a room he needs to enter or throw him occasional health, bath salts, and some money when in need. Her unique ability is that she can open tears to alternate timelines, which helps in various combat situations and to grapple across blocked areas. Number 1. Ellie from The Last of Us Probably one of the most moving games ever to be released, The Last of Us hasn't gotten the main character Joel on the cover. Instead, the cover art features Ellie, Joel's companion. As a companion, Ellie grows throughout the adventure as she begins to trust her father figure and is trusted to wield a gun to protect herself. Through her funny humor and sharp wit, Ellie is a great counterpart to Joel's furious nature. They work together as a duo so well, which makes the sequel devastating. By the end of the game, we truly believe how much Joel cares for Ellie due to the horrendous acts he pulls against the Fireflies to save her. Overall, Ellie's cursing and comedic remarks create memorable moments that lighten the atmosphere, balanced with dramatic moments where she and Joel survive harrowing ordeals. She'll also drop you a ladder or two when you need it. Which video game companion do you like the most? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again in our next video.